Should you treat a fever? Let's talk about it. Treating a fever is something that's a little bit controversial now in the medical profession. Well, what is a fever? Basically, a fever is an increase in your body's core temperature that occurs in response to your metabolic activity increasing as it tries to fight against an invader, usually either a viral invader or a bacterial invader. What does that cause? Well, when you have an infection, whether it's an infection of the skin, whether it's an infection of your lungs, your body's immune response responds in a couple of different ways. One, there's called cellular immunity, and then there's two called humoral immunity, where the white blood cells secrete certain humors or certain chemicals that have what we call a pyretic response, meaning cause your body's temperature to go up. So do you treat that? Is that something that we should be giving medication to abort? Well, that's the controversy. If it's as a result of your body's immune response to try and actually kill the infected organisms, is that something that you should take away? Is that one of your defense mechanisms that we're then working against? Well, in many cases, particularly in adults, it's really not necessary to treat a fever. In fact, it can actually prolong the illness. Even though you feel worse when you've got the fever, it's working in your favor. The higher temperatures actually lead to degradation of the viral agents that are infecting you. Same thing is true for the bacteria that might be infecting you. So unless you get a high fever to the point where there's a risk of denaturation of the proteins in your body, we're talking temperatures of 105 degrees or greater, then there's really no need to treat the fever. Now in pediatrics, it's a little bit different. In little children, particularly infants, up to the age of about six to eight months, there's a risk of what we call febrile seizures, where if they get temps over 103, 104, they can have seizure activity, which can then lead to anoxic brain damage and real complications. In little babies, we generally do start treating fever once it gets over about 102 degrees to try and prevent that very risky complication of high temperatures. But in adults, in most cases, it's no need to treat it.